Hey ladies, how you doing? So I want to come in really quickly, as I always do, in and out. And I wanted to share with you guys some daily supplements. I take a few daily supplements. I kind of keep my stuff very minimal because I take my supplements due to what I'm dealing with. So a lot of you know, if you don't know, I do have fibroids. I had several surgeries to get them removed and they grew back. The only thing that's going to help me if I get a hysterectomy and I haven't gotten a hysterectomy as of yet. So you can say as of yet. So I will be getting that one. Now, um, in saying that, when you have fibroids, you have a heavy menstruals and you bleed, you bleed, you bleed. And I have become anemic. So daily supplements that I do take is iron. Let me go my iron up here for you guys. So I did have some liquid iron, but I don't have it anymore. So I cannot show you, but I'll leave it linked down below. That liquid iron really, really works. But I'm going to get into the downside of that liquid iron. Any iron in it, in, in general will will do what I'm going to tell you later. But I had a liquid iron and I used that one up. But this is iron right here. This is from Target. And I have everything linked down below. This is a regular um, 65 mg's. Iron is essential for hemoglobin um, formation. So my hemo is always low under the levels. My hemo has been at its lowest between the 7 and the 8. Now, I know some people have been lower than that, but I have been really, really low, and especially when I'm doing my menstrual, really, really, really low. So I do take iron. I take it twice a day. Sometimes I double up and I will take um, liquid iron. And if I had a liquid iron, I would show you. I would do liquid iron and I would do this as well. And I would do it twice a day and I would do it with orange juice. And I'm going to get into that. And it would have to be like fresh squeezed orange juice. I would have to squeeze it myself. I have to go buy it myself. Like, um, yeah, fresh squeeze. I'm thinking about something. I'm thinking about something else. But yeah, I would do that. In addition to what I would, all what I also take is vitamin C. Now this is chewables. I have like maybe one more chewables. This is 500 mg's, and this is just to help su to support immune health. Now when you're taking iron, vitamin C helps boost the iron into your system okay so i have this one is a chewable and this one is a regular tablet like this one fyi your girl cannot swallow pills i can't even swallow birth control pills so i have to chew them up <laughs> so these are two um vitamins but this this one doesn't taste too bad this is just kind of bitter and tart but i take it with orange juice so it kind of camouflaged. This one is just a chewable, and this one is a, it's a flavor too. I think it's just like um, an orange flavor. Oh, tropical fruit, that's what it is. It's different colors in here, so that's what that one. So that is for my iron, and that is for my vitamin C. Now, when you're really, really low in your iron, this is for me, this, I'm just giving you my, um, my my what my doctor gave me so this, i'm not telling you to take by i'm just telling you the benefits of taking and how it can definitely help you you know taking dietary supplements in addition to that it's a cocktail that they that my doctor advised me to do so i can boost my chances of elevating my hemo so i won't be always cold i always say i'm always cold I always wear sweaters around the house everybody can be running around here with shorts and t-shirt on and kelly's around here with socks a, a turtleneck and a hoodie because I'm, I'm i'm cold you know my iron is very very low i will also add folic acid folic acid also helps with this little cocktail right here this cocktail right here with the iron the vitamin c and the folic acid will help distribute that iron and help it absorb into my system so i definitely take these in the morning i take them at night morning and night this is your girl dietary supplements <laughs> and i chew everything i'm gonna be honest with you so if i ever was to get like high blood pressure or something along those lines or you know i do have a heart condition and if i had to take something that was really really serious i'll be up doodle creek because kelly cannot swallow pills i cannot and if I get a headache, I take a Tylenol, I chew that up as well. I become a pro at chewing up Tylenols and Advils and ibuprofen. So that's not a bit. And I have a pill crusher as well. So I don't want to, I'm sitting here just chewing pills, but I do a pill crusher as well. And I will, you know, 
do the pill crush it, get it out, and do it that way. And I always ask my doctor if they give me a pill or something like, I need an antibiotic for anything. Like when I would have my surgeries, I need an antibiotic. I'll make sure they give it to me in tablet or capsule form. Sometimes you can't, and I would just um, crush it. And if they do give me one that's a cap in a capsule, I would pull it out and put it in applesauce. And I would, that's how I take my medicine because I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Next up on the list is um b12 i have this is a newer one and this is one that's almost finished i thought i lost this one i thought i got but it was just again amongst the stuff in the house so i found it so it doesn't expire it expires this year in august so i'll have this one then i think I, maybe i got about how many more b12 and this one tastes like cherry yeah i got about 10 in here so i can get that done within you know a week because i take two a day and this is my new one. So this is B12. B12 gives you energy. It helps support the energy metabolism and nervous system health. So that's what it says on here. These are all from Target. I got everything from Target. Even this Nature Brand one. And I'll leave everything linked down below. This here is um, B12 because one, when you bleed in the way you bleed and your hemo's low, you do def you definitely get weak and you need some energy. And I think that's how I became that crazy coffee. No, I won't say that because I've been a coffee drinker for years. So I do think um, when before I had found what was going on with me when it got really, really bad, I drank coffee really like a lot. And I wasn't even, I didn't even know I got I had fibroids until I, I was living down here a couple of years. And I had pains, heavy bleeding and everything while I was even in New York, but didn't even know it. So, you know, it took me to have a really, really bad episode where I thought that my whole insides was falling out of me. I thought, I thought I was suffering from like hemorrhoids, or not hemorrhoids, hernia. Like I had this really bad pain down there and that's how I knew something was going on. I had to leave work and they gave me immediate ultrasound and that's how they saw I had all those fibroids and I had immediate surgery. So yeah, but I did not get, they thought that since I was young, that if I just got um, that surgery that I had that wasn't so invasive, but I still kept my uterus, that I would heal and I would I, my my menstrual would eliminate itself since I was so young. But about be forty five and I'm still going through. It. So B twelve for that energy. Okay. Next up, taking all these pills can definitely turn your stomach and your digestive system all around. So I definitely take a probiotic and I put this in my water bottles. So we're drinking water. I just do one a day. I don't do two a day. Even this one a day. This is from GNC. I got this particular one. This is just a fast stick. And it's a pro, 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 probiotic. I gotta say it fast. If I say it slow, I get it all messed up. So and this one here, this one is a um, mixed berry one. It doesn't taste bad at all. I just pretty much get it, um, get what I gotta get, drink it, put it down, and call it a day. Don't even think about it. Next up is a stool softener and a stimulant. Taking iron, it can definitely block you up. I don't really, because I can't swallow pills. So this here is, as you can see, it's full. I prefer doing teas or I prefer doing prune juice because that's like a natural stimulant where you don't have to feel like you're getting that gripe and grime in your stomach. You're about to give birth or something for those of you that may have gave birth. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You don't feel that grip and that grime in your stomach. So, but definitely if you're having, um, even if you have digestive issues, period, you know, a stimulant can definitely help you to move things along because when you have lots of back stuff in you, that causes bloating, that makes you bigger than what you are. And that's something that I learned to definitely get that crap out of you. And if you eat a lot of greens, that helps too. And sometimes, depending on how bad it's blocked up, that may not help. But you know, prune juice definitely is like the kick up. Let me show you what I got. This prune juice right here. Simple, simple, simple. This is called what? Sunsleep? Right here. This works. I'm telling you. I keep these here by the jar. I know maybe it's too much TMI, but you know, I want to help my girls out, you know? Gotta help you out. Gotta help you out. Gotta help you stay up. <laughs> gotta help you have energy. I gotta make sure your blood good. I gotta make sure you're right. Yeah, but ask your doctor first. Ask your doctor first. Next up, 
is this is two new things i haven't opened these two yet so this is two that i'm gonna be incorporating in my um but i don't really need the next one getting ready to show you but um some nights i really do and that is melatonin and this is the 5mg i got this from target as well and my um daughter put me onto this because she was traveling at one point so much and just hanging out and having a good time and then she had to go to sleep and then she was like i didn't get to go to sleep so she put me onto this and melatonin you know your body produces melatonin is how you go to sleep at night but sometimes when you know for me when i was drinking coffee really heavy if i like drink it too many if i drink too many cups sometimes i can't go to sleep at night but now that's not the problem i haven't had coffee in a week and a half y'all but i needed to do that for my anxiety and my therapist had recommended me to do that so um yeah i haven't had coffee in a week and a half but i'm gonna make me some next week next week <laughs> i already said i was gonna go next week so i said you know i'm enjoying that i am sleeping really really good right now you don't realize little things like coffee and caffeine can definitely mess around with how you sleep how you feel and all that good jazz so melatonin if you need some help with sleeping this is like natural natural stimulant you know to help you sleep and i was talking to um my therapist in regards to just how my mood feels and whatnot and he was like how are you getting some vitamin d and i was like you know this here this vitamin d says supports bones teeth and healthy immune system that's what this one so i got me some gummy some gummies because you know i can't chew i mean i can't i can't swallow i can't even talk i cannot swallow because i got some vitamin d but he said you know sometimes since we've been home so long we're not really going out you know we're working from home it's good to get out now in the summertime when i started working from home in march i would go sit out on the porch and whatnot but now since it's cold i'm not going out on nobody's porch i ain't doing any of that so he said get you some supplements to kind of get that vitamin d inside of you that helps with mood that helps with so many other things besides just bone health and you know um teeth and things like that and i love my teeth so if i need to chew on somebody to keep these teeth in order that's what your girl is doing <laughs> So that is my daily um, dietary supplements that I am taking at the moment. I don't take a lot because one, I cannot swallow pills. I am a chewer. I wish I had my um, pill crusher down here because I would show you my pill crusher. I got my pill crusher when my uncle was in the hospital. Um, he was getting some medicine himself and they need to crush it up for him so i was oh wow i said i need one of those and the guy went in the back and got me once so i have a hospital style pill crusher i don't have the one from like cvs or walgreens or walmart i got a real heavy duty one so when you put it in on the first go that pill is crushed <laughs> so yes y'all if you take dietary supplements please let me know what you take because again Taking supplements, you know, for some of us, it doesn't harm. For some of it, it does, depending on what you're, you know, you may be allergic to, whatever it be. All my supplements were recommended to me by my physician because what I was going through. And I still take them to this day because, you know, my fibers have grown back. I'm in the, I'm, I know what I need to do. I need to go on and get the surgery and get a hysterectomy. But they tell me there's so many things that does happen to you later on down the line, you know, in regards to um, mood swings, you know, all the other things going into early menopause. And I'm not even at premenopause yet. So I even had the blood test done to check for that. And I'm not even in premenopause. Because if I was in premenopause, your girl would have went on and did it. But since I'm not, I don't want to rush that process. I don't know. Everybody's telling me different things. Some people tell me, oh, they had it. They didn't go into menopause. They didn't go into like hot sweats and just all these different things or cold sweats if i should if i'm saying it right so i guess i'm just nervous let me know down below ladies help your girl out because you know i know we, we all react different to different things you know our bodies so talk to me let me know what you have done for those of you who may have had hysterectomies those of you who may have had partials full partials or those of you who are just kind of at bay right now, not knowing what you want to do. Because I know some of you have definitely have shared in the past that that's the best thing you ever, th the best thing you, the best thing you could have ever done in your life. And since I suffer with these fibroids and 
five boys something that runs it runs in every race but it's really high within african-american women so i got part of the pick i got part of the pick and you know i have to keep my iron up because if i don't guys I will be, and you can, like, I don't suffer from dark spots, I mean, dark spots in my eyes, or anything like that. But when my iron is, like, really, really, really low, you start seeing the dark underneath my eyes. It's just crazy. And then me wearing makeup makes it look like I have, like, a, a gray under, a gray cast underneath my eye. So, yeah, just have a girl talk with you guys. So, so just to kind of share, like, little tips that I've picked up along the way. It can definitely help with boosting your immune system. It can definitely help you with different illnesses that you may uh, deal with on a daily basis that can help you out. You know, just something simple. You know, of course, ask your physician. It can definitely help with your mood, like B12. It can help you have more energy. And it, dietary supplements is definitely cheaper than you getting like an actual pill for something. You know, I'm not, again, I'm not telling you to go do this. I need you to go to your doctor. So don't even think, oh, Kelly said, Kelly said, no, 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 Kelly ain't say nothing. And another thing that dietary supplements that I've come to realize, you know, it's just not so invasive. So I don't know if I gave you five, but um, it's just not invasive. And I think for me, for a woman who really can't swallow pills and stuff like that it's good to, good to keep yourself at bay as much as you possibly can so you don't have to get down the line and you know be on so many other medications you know something that's more uh clinically prescribed that can cause you know other effects down the line because you know if you take medication so I hear if you take like over six different medications if it might be high blood pressure for your heart whatever case. And I do have a heart condition and you know thank god let's I don't take any medication. In the beginning, I did. I'm not going to lie. I did. But I was able to get off that medication. And I have not taken anything at the moment. I just wear my heart monitor twice a year to make sure everything is ticking right. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I do deal with that. And that's why I try to make sure I keep myself at a certain weight. I like to make sure I keep my dietary supplements because i know i have everything that's going on with me and i'm sure they don't like i'm probably gonna have to take something but right now if i can you know eliminate that i will do the best that i possibly can so i don't want to keep rambling i don't want this video to be 30 minutes long I want to come in and share some benefits of taking dietary supplements all right so i talk to you guys later and i'll see you in the next video so hey to all my new subscribers hey to all my loyals thanks for hanging out with me catch you in the next video Bye.